Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Lund, and in today's video, we talk about the number one anti-aging hormone, in my opinion. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it. What is common among all these hallmarks of aging is the decrease in NAD, uh, which is one of these coenzyme energy energy enzyme that's involved with many processes inside the body. But <laughs> NAD is not the hormone, and it's not the hormone that we're going to talk about in this video. So you have to kind of stick around for a little bit longer before I unravel what this hormone is. But uh, yeah, low NAD is what is causing the um, hallmarks of aging or promotes it. And there's a reason why your NAD levels also uh, decrease. So NAD itself is being recycled on a daily basis all the time. Your body produces it from different precursors. Uh, but the main comes from this uh, salvage pathway that is governed by the NAPT enzyme. So any of these being recycled all the time. And this NAPT enzyme itself is dependent of the circadian rhythms. So you need to be aligned with the circadian rhythms in order for this salvage pathway to work and in order to recycle NAD continuously every day. The problem is that when you, when you get older, uh, the uh, circadian hormones themselves become more dampened and you don't produce that many of these uh, circadian hormones like cortisol and melatonin. So they become more flat, they flatten out and that is one of part of the reason why you start to see this lack of NAD, lack of vitality, lack of repair processes. And melatonin, I unraveled it. So melatonin is the number one anti-aging hormone in my opinion, because you know, it's uh, part of the circadian rhythm, the main circadian rhythm regulation. It's part of many other things as well in the body. Like it is a master or a very powerful antioxidant. It uh, produces uh, different kinds of, um, you know, let's say processes or regulates these like autophagy, apoptosis, detoxification, growth hormone release, and many things are connected to the uh, natural production of melatonin. But as you saw, the uh, as you get older, you produce less melatonin, which is you know problematic for both the circadian rhythm alignment, as well as uh, sleep quality and all the other anti-aging processes that occur. Sucks! Cortisol and melatonin are the main circadian hormones that regulate wakefulness and other, other uh, processes. So cortisol rises in the morning, stays low, and um, melatonin drops low in the daytime. You don't produce much melatonin at all. And then it rises a high during sleep together with the, or it rises and it starts to conduct all these um, anti-aging processes. Like you just recover or repair your body, detoxify the brain, go through autophagy, start to recycle NAD, all of those things happen in this critical time period in your sleep, mostly deep sleep, um, around like 11 p.m. up to like 1 a.m., etc., when your melatonin production, production peaks. Uh, but the problem is that, you know, if you're not producing melatonin, then you're not going to experience those things as well. And we also see that disrupting the circadian rhythms is linked to aging and uh, comorbidities, diabetes, obesity, uh, neurodegeneration, Alzheimer's, uh, metabolic syndrome, and uh, even cancer, those things are linked to circadian disruption. So you want to be aligned with the circadian rhythm so that you could produce this melatonin and maintain this uh, optimal, you know, let's say swing and uh, big uh, swing and big uh, like variation in the circadian hormones. A lot of cortisol in the morning and a lot of melatonin in your sleep. The problem is that, you know, there's many things that inhibit melatonin. And uh, in the modern world, the biggest inhibition of melatonin comes from artificial light. Uh, like the screen, like this light, like the phone, like, yeah, car lights, uh, traffic lights, all those things uh, inhibit melatonin because of the blue uh, light and green light spectrum. So everything between like 400 to 550 nanometers is what inhibits melatonin and you inhibit melatonin up to like 90% uh, with that light. Uh, whereas things, uh, red light and amber lights, 600 to 700, those don't inhibit melatonin. And uh, that's kind of the problem. So the solution to that is obviously you can turn off the lights, but you know you don't really want to do that most of the time. You want to you know check your smartphone or whatever, look at the look at the computer. In the modern world, we also have biohacking technologies that you can use equipment. Uh, so my favorite ones, the top ones, are blue blocking glasses to filter out the blue light because most of the uh, blue light that regulates circadian rhythms and melatonin goes through the eyes. So you want to block the blue light with these blue blocking glasses that filter out the specific wavelengths, uh, the green and blue light. And you can also use uh, red light bulbs, which are amazing. I love them. I have them in my bedroom and uh, this office actually also has uh, these things. And uh, yeah, you just turn them on before bed, like uh, 30 minutes, an hour before bed, and you avoid all this um, stimulating and uh, melatonin suppressing uh, blue light that you have. And the key is to also have like things that are flicker free. 
so the flickering that most LED lights have that is also inhibiting melatonin. Uh, so we want to have flicker-free red light bulbs that actually have the specific uh, nanometers. Like the specific nanometers would be you know 600, 700 nanometer range, not just regular LEDs. If it looks like red, then it may not have the actual nanometers. It can just look red, but it still comes with some blue light in there, or at least it flickers. And yeah, like Blue Blocks is the brand that I think is the best one in this uh, field and circadian rhythms and sleep optimization. They have now actually rebranded themselves as Bond Charge. And uh, yeah, that's their new branding. The company is the same. If the people are the same, this different new name. And they just, you know, include a lot more of these other wellness products that you can look out for in the future. And uh, yeah, these are the number one, basically, products for this and the highest quality, they work, they've been tested, and the ones that I use personally as well. So you can head over to bondcharge.com forward slash seamlund, and you can use the code seam to get a 15% discount. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam, stay optimized, stay empowered.